Hello and welcome to Medical Dialogues. I'm Mr. Zaman and today I'll talk about Clinically relevant deficiency of oxytocin hormone demonstrated. Researchers from the University of Basel and the University Hospital of Basel have succeeded in demonstrating a deficiency of oxytocin in patients with a deficiency of vasopressin caused by a disease of the pituitary gland. The hormones oxytocin and vasopressin are produced in the same area of the brain and are also very similar in structure. Patients with a rare deficiency of vasopressin cannot concentrate their urine and lose liters of water as a result. In order to compensate for this loss, they are obliged to drink up to 10 liters or more per day. With a nasal spray or a tablet containing synthetically produced vasopressin, these symptoms can usually be treated without any problems. However, even with this treatment, many patients report anxiety, have trouble with social interactions or demonstrate impaired emotional awareness. These symptoms could be due to a deficiency of oxytocin, also known as the bonding hormone. Oxytocin is however difficult to measure and a stimulation test is needed to produce a reliable result. This test stimulates oxytocin secretion. MDMA, better known as ecstasy, is one such stimulant substance. Researchers have now shown that oxytocin levels are 8.5 times higher in healthy individuals after a single dose of MDMA while they remain unchanged in those with vasopressin deficiency. This provides strong evidence that their production of oxytocin is also impaired. As expected, the increase of oxytocin in the healthy individuals after a dose of MDMA caused pro-social behavior and an increase in empathy combined with a reduction in anxiety symptoms. The patients with vasopressin deficiency, on the other hand, showed no changes in these areas. That's all for today. Stay tuned to Medical Dialogues for latest updates. Never miss a medical update from Medical Dialogues. Like, subscribe and press the bell icon.